Yamaha chip went into all sorts of products. Not only the Mega Drive, but loads of other stuff. It was a common FM sound chip that was used in all sorts of different products. You know, not just games consoles, but synthesizers and and other, you know, electronic devices that needed that needed to make noises. What we did with the games consoles is we we basically kind of took those things apart, literally bite by bite, to work out exactly what we could do with them and how we could make them do a bit more than they were designed to do. That's generally what what the games industry does, you know. We're given a console and the programmers literally just take the thing to pieces and just go, right, well, what can we do with it? How can we make it go faster? How can we, how can we make it do more than it says on the tin? That's really the, the kind of challenge of the games industry. And, you know, you, you look at one company compared to another developing company, and one team will be doing things with the machine that, you're, that your team is not. And you're going, well, how the hell do they do that?